gonna make something called cornbread. It's a southern thing. Uh, for some reason, it's hard to find it anywhere else in the world. It always seems like it's in the south. Even up here, I try to get self-rising cornmeal, and it's like, no, you can't even get self-rising flour. You've got to do the math yourself, and I'm going to do it for you right now in case you get in a jam. Especially if you're in western Canada, and you're like, man, I want some southern food. Well, I'm going to show you how to do that. I'll tell you a little craziness to go along with. Now, first and foremost, I'll tell you what ingredients we have here, okay? I got one and a half cups of really dense cornmeal. They call that grits, but it's not, and I'll show it to you real quick. This is what it looks like. It's pretty intense. Then I got a half a cup of just regular old unbleached all-purpose flour. Then I got a, yeah, about a tablespoon of uh, bacon soda, bacon powder actually, not bacon soda. Bacon soda will make it taste metal, so don't metally taste to it. It's not so good. I got my oil, I got my milk. Now normally I'd use buttermilk, but it's been hard for me to find buttermilk up here lately. So what I do is I add butter, I add fat content milk. This is 2% milk, but I add a little vinegar to it. And the vinegar makes it have that wang to it that buttermilk usually does. Okay, so we're going to start everything off. Here we go. So I got my mixing bowl right here. All right, so we're going to go ahead and add the cornmeal. As you can see. And then we're going to add the flour. Here we go. All pre-measured. So you ain't got to sit here and watch me try to measure shit because a lot of times I get, I get shit everywhere. You think I was snorting cocaine off the back of a toilet, and we found out later it wasn't cocaine. That's okay. So anyway, and then we've got our little, our little bit of tablespoon of bacon, bacon powder, but I went a little over the top. And the reason why I do that, to be perfectly honest, is I know at the end of this thing, I'm going to have to add a little bit more. But that's okay. i got some premix over here that I've already done this already. I do this all the time. So, so anyway, we're going to take this... Uh, what do you call these things? Stick with a bunch of rods coming out of it that are all curvy and shit. I want to say spatula, but I know that's wrong. Anyway, mix it up real good. The flour is less dense, so it wants to go to the bottom. So you got to make sure when you're mixing this that you're getting it all mixed in real good. So there we go. Now, because people think that cornbread is supposed to be sweet, this is our secret ingredient. Jeff, creamy pe Now, I'm just fucking with you. I ain't putting that shit in there. What the fuck is wrong with you? You put sugar in cornbread, there's something wrong with you. So take your ass back to Cracker Barrel and eat cake, because that's what it is. It's cake. Ask anybody in my family. They'll go, fucking, you put sugar in the shit, it's fucking cake. Fuck you. So this goes in the floor. Fuck you. Then again, I like Jeff peanut butter. I got this Himalayan salt, as I said before. Uh, I, somebody on a donkey a mule packed this shit down from the highest reaches of the world. Yeah, probably not. Anyway, we're going to go at least 10. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And just go, you know, for the hell of it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. There we go. We got some good salt in that thing. Now on the pepper side... We'll go 20. We'll actually go 15, and I'll lie and say it's 21, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and sing. Now, I'll show this to you. This is what you got going on. I'm going to mix that up really good, too. Now, when you're doing cornbread, it's 2 to 1. So you got 2 cups of material in here essentially, and you're going to do one cup of liquid or one cup of milk-based stuff, right? Eggs or something different. So we're going to go ahead and add the milk. This is one cup of 2% milk. Go ahead and pour that in. There we go. It's kind of sloshing around. We'll make a cornmeal bomb out of this. If you ever watch CSI, there's an episode about cornmeal bomb, actually. Then we have this thing called fat ass white boy vinegar or something. What do I call it? 
fat white ass vinegar. You, you only need about a cap full. Because all you need to do is curdle some of that fat. That's science. That's Alton Brown shit. I ain't Alton Brown. Great guy, religious nut. Anyway, mix that in real good, right? It's already gotten too dry. So I'm probably going to have to add a little bit more. So I'm thinking. But then again, that cornmeal soaks up the liquid. So now I've got this. A giant hush puppy entwined in a thing. One of them things. Well, so that's all right. Here we go. Sorry for the name recognition. Dairyland, 2%. Oh, should I measure it? No, uh, but then we'll go we'll put that in there just enough to keep it going. There we go. And then I've got a third of a cup of canola oil. And the reason why I use canola oil is because it's got a higher smoke content. Now, I'd love to use olive oil because olive oil tastes better. But canola oil don't taste like shit. And it's made right down the street from where I'm at. And the funny thing about that is you can burn the piss out of that and it still won't smoke. So let's add that to it. That way we're going to get it nice and moist. We're going to add butter to it later. It's going to be all buttery and shit, right? So we're going to mix that up. Still a, still a bit sticky for me. I have to beat the shit out of this thing. What the hell's wrong with you? I learned this recipe from my mother, uh, and, and my dad did it too, um, but of course it came from my mama Garmin, and she used to, that woman could make anything taste good, she'd give you possum, and you'd eat it and think, oh, this is the greatest thing I ever had in my life, and to be perfectly honest, you was eating possum, because they found it on the road dead. So anyway, here we go, we've got two eggs, because the eggs are the protein binder. It's going to keep it all together, right? Now, here's how to crack an egg. I'm going to use this to, to whack up my egg, right? You go like this on the side, and when you do that, it crushes the shell inside of it. Now, a lot of chefs will tell you that. So you just hit it on the fucking flat surface. Plop. Shit bucket. Because we ain't using that, but it goes in the compost, right? And there we go. Look at that, ain't no shells in there. You know why? Cause you didn't go jam into the side of it, right? So we'll bust up these two eggs pretty good. We're gonna mix them up really good. Kinda like you're making really cool scrambled eggs. I'll tell you a story. It's Christmas, 1991. I was driving my old Ford Tempo. That damn thing. It was wrecked when I got it. All screwed up. So I'm driving down I-85 in Atlanta, Georgia. It's a four-lane highway, divided highway. Four lanes this way, four lanes that way. Damn front tire blows out. Christmas Day. Christmas Day. Ain't a damn thing open, right? Or at least you don't think so. Cut a 180 in the middle of the thing. And I'm facing oncoming traffic. Right? Oncoming traffic's coming at you. But luckily, it's Christmas Day. Ain't nobody on the road but my dumb ass because I'm going up to Gainesville on Christmas morning. I limp the little old thing off the side and I'm off the side of the road. I'm sitting underneath a bridge right beside Gwinnett Place Mall. If anybody knows where that is, you'll know what I'm talking about. If you don't, I'll tell you, it's a big old mall and off to the side was a movie theater. Now, there's only, there's only a couple of things, there's only a couple of things open on Christmas Day. That's gonna be that's gonna be gas stations, some of you gas stations, and movie theaters. That's pretty good right there. I'll probably pour that in and start mixing that up. So anyway, I get out of the car. Kind of kind of chilly, but in Georgia it don't really get that cold, so you don't have to worry too much. So I start walking. I try to climb a fence to get up to the upper bridge to go either to a gas station. So I called my dad, but this is 1991. So it's not like we had cell phones or the interwebs or smartphones or any of that shit. 
I barely had a pager. So what am I going to do? I can't really, you can't make a pager page a page. It's kind of weird. So uh, anyway, I, I fall on the, I fall when I'm trying to climb the thing. It rips the entire ass of my pants out from the back of my knee all the way up to my waistband. Rips my underwear. Cuts my ass. My right side got a scar right now. I got blood all over me. Blood, ass, and shit. It's all Christmas Day. Bloody ass shit. I walk my ass about two miles to the movie theater to use a payphone. People staring at me like I was something out of a George Romero film. And I call my papa. I call my dad and say, hey, can you come help me out now? This is what happened. And of course, he was like, okay. And he showed up and helped me out. But I won't forget that because... uh it's like he had to not only did he show up and bring me an extra tire and help me fix it because I didn't have a spare. Poor. I'm a poor man, you know what I'm saying? So you already was using your spare because you already blown something else out. But the thing about it was you didn't have no extra clothes, so he brought me an extra pair of pants and some underwear, and I had to wipe myself up with some napkins because I had blood everywhere. I didn't like bleed out, obviously, I'm still here, but still, it, was, it wasn't exactly fun. So it was Merry Christmas, 1991. It was great. And now we're making cornbread. All right, so we got this pretty, pretty liquefied. We got that egg in there. If you can see that, we'll look over here. So, now it comes out of the, it comes out of the whisk. Ooh, I figured out the name. Look at me, I'm learning. I'm learning. Hope you are too. It's a whisk. Paid some money for that, some bitch. Anyway, it's liquid, right? It's moving around. Now, if you don't have a cast iron skillet, or at least multiple ones in your house, you're a fucking idiot. Because cast iron skillets are the way we cook food in the South and everywhere in the world. Now, you got a little sheen on there, but also I added a little bit more canola oil. So my cornbread wouldn't stick. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take this, this mixture, and we're going to pour it in here like cake batter. I have to learn to do stuff opposite so you can see what the hell I'm doing, but I don't really give a shit. I mean, you figured it out. I mean, no sugar, by the way. No fucking Jeff peanut butter. I didn't put fucking M&M's in it. That was me giving a shout out to Cracker Barrel. So we're going to do that. Here's the gross bit. People are going, oh, that's nasty. That's horrible. But I'm going to tell you why it's a good idea. Um, here's what we got left in the bowl. Whatever. If you want to lick the bowl, it ain't making cake batter. That's for sure. And we just kind of push it around, make sure it's all there to go. Okay. Now, now we look at this. You can see there's oil around the edges. Now I'm going to do like that. You know why I'm going to do that? Because when I cook this at 450 to 475 degrees for 17 to 25 minutes, depends on your oven. All ovens are different. It's going to crisp up that outside real good. And everybody loves the, everybody loves the crust bits. The inside's one thing, but the crust bits are great. And we're done with that. I got this big old hunk of butter that I'm going to shred up. And I'm just going to spread all over and let it just soak down in it. Get that buttery flavor. And then when we get done with it, I'll bring it back out here and flip it over. Show you how I do it. So that way you know how to make cornbread. And I hope to God you don't have a Christmas like I did in 1991. Thank you very much for watching Mayhem Kitchen. Uh, give, give, give me about 17 to 25 minutes, all depends. We'll bring you back some cornbread. Eat that with your collard greens, your black eyed, hell, eat that anywhere. I used to eat it in a big old cup of milk. Just cornbread and milk. My wife will tell me that's gross. I used to call that, uh, poor people, poor people cornflakes. Damn. Anyway, thanks for watching Mayhem Kitchen. <laughs> Oh, we're gonna have a doin' for the folks next door. I bake them up a possum and plenty of little more. We'll have a keg of cider and a little Mountain Dew, and we'll all hammer ourselves up. Huh.
Hope you enjoyed this uh, episode of Mayhem Kitchen. <laughs>